Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. I am the Wolf. I am joined by Lord Jericho. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I can't say all those words, so we're going to kill him, Elrin. Hey! <laughs> we also have Magic Slayer hanging out with us. Hello! We have Sturman. Hello, everyone. I think that's everybody. Wallenstein. Yeah, but he's doing his own thing. What about Wallenstein? He's over there doing his own oh, thing yeah. on his own planet. He doesn't want to talk to us right now, except to buy his stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> But, as you can see here, we got ourselves another showcase for you guys. This stuff, uh, this uh, mining capital vessel you see in front of us, is made by Dr. Reeps. He's uh, been a long-time sub, and he took some of the frigate ideas from the mining aspect of it and created an actual capital vessel completely designed around it, and did an epic job about it, too. But before we get into that, he also made this small vessel, which I was really fond of, called an Iron Fist. So I wanted to make sure you guys saw that real quick, and I threw that in here. He's got the landing gear with landing gear covers on it. Let's get in here, and I'll show you its statistics. If I can bring them up. There we go. 2% power usage. Can't get better than that. It's got homing rockets. It's got... Um, Railguns. Rail guns. you got to forgive my brain deadness today. Nice power generation there. There's its statistics for you guys. I thought it was a really nice design ship, so I had to make sure I put that in there for you guys as well. But let's get down here and take a look at this mining capital vessel here. We're going to the front. So it's designed so it actually can hold mining vessels, uh, hover vessels and things as well. It's got a massive front end hangar here. Come inside, you open the hangar. You got two parking spots here. And like on the frigate, check it out. He's got the internal turrets for mining with the cargo bay door underneath so we can just go up to any a asteroid he wants to mine it all out and he's good to go but look at the level of detail he's got in here the truss work and everything the piping and all that i mean he did a really good job paying attention to details and things like that it makes it look like it's a mining vessel but let's go and use the gravity on the ship here i'm gonna come up on the top we're gonna walk through this baby Brings you up to a catwalk here, which brings you to the bridge, which I thought was uniquely designed as well. It's all glass, it's tunneled. So you got your operations manager seat right here, you got your pilot seat up there, you got your officers back here, your your receptionist desks right here on the entryway. Caution, receptionist. <laughs> come back through here. I mean, I love the truss work. It looks amazing. And then we come back in here. We have looks like a cargo box back there. But there's the gravity generator. Loud. You got your O2, your medical chamber here. Marbleized flooring. Yeah. And you come down a deck here. You got your fuel room on the one side, containers with that. I guess those are for the extra fuel. You got your ammo containers there. Oh, there's another door here I didn't know about. Oh, that's the catwalk, right. We're going to get to that. Then you got the other fuel room on this side. Hey, open up door. Another ammo container there. But look at this. Just look at the detail. It's like an operations room did a really good job with that, especially with the windows overlooking the what looks like fuel containers. Let's go out there and check it out. So you got your external catwalk in space here. And those look like those are ore processing containers or something, which are awesome. But look, it's just an open design out here. It's really cool. Piping from one end to the other. So we got here. This looks like the warp room. Looks like an actual medical room over here. You got O2 containers. You got your O2 machines. Your diagnostic equipment. Clone yeah. chamber. Medic chamber. Sorry. Perfect room for Jericho right now. Okay. <laughs> Come over to the other side. We got some more fuel tanks over here. This looks like the barracks room. 
Ooh, bathroom. The door to get to the warp drive. Alright. Uh, we can go up. Let's go up first. I want to go up first. Ooh, the captain's quarters. Still missing the mirror above the bed, but nonetheless. I like how he's got it separated by the glass right there. Very well What's designed. View, miss? What? What's that? What's the view, miss? Tip of the bed. You don't get that? I'll explain it to you later. Oh, not, I do get not, it. Not, not, on a, not on a PG okay. episode. <laughs> you got couches, you got comfy. You know, he did a good job on here. I like this room. I'd actually live here and be comfortable. All right, coming back down, coming back down, coming back down. All right, so we got a back room there. Let's check the back rooms out before we go down. You got your constructor. Nice. Ooh, look at the pipes above the head. That's nice. Oh, in-floor containers. Now, there's a nice touch. Another constructor. So we got our generation room here. There's the warp tank right there. Warp tank right here. Nice. I love that. All right, going down. Oh, you come out the bottom of the ship. I guess oh. that's it. Oh, true. Oh, lost my gravity. Yeah, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this here. We've got the four engines on the back. Not bad. Radiation symbols for the bigger ones. You got one rear turret. You got your radar dome. There's that catwalk we were walking across right there, which I thought was really nice. He does have sentry guns here and there. Here's something I missed. There's a set of stairs right here. What? For no reason. I think it's just decoration. Or maybe it's just access to the underbelly. Interesting. But Dr. Reap, she did a really good job designing this thing. I am very impressed myself. I would actually use this myself. I might actually put it up on the server for people to actually buy these and use them if they want to buy them. You got your mini guns, you got your pulse laser turrets, you've got your cannons, you got your artillery cannon, some more mini guns, so it's not too OP in power, I like that. It is a mining vessel after all. You got some more sentry turrets over here. Very well done. I really like this, buddy. Good job, very good job. You got your reverse engines built right in there, that's awesome. I gotta say, buddy, keep up the good work and keep up that creativity, man. Build some more. I wanna see what you come up with next. Let's get one more good look at this baby. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope this sparks your creativity. Like I said, he did some amazing work. It does look like it's an actual mining vessel. I really like that aspect of it. It's very industrious feel to it. So, remember to play hard and game harder, and until next time, take it easy. See you later, guys. Safe travels.